back, everybody. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you know my first guest tonight from Mamma Mia, Mank, and Mean Girls. She's now Emmy nominated for her starring role in The Dropout. Please welcome back to The Late Show, Amanda Seyfried. <laughs> Nothing. Hey, nice to see hey, you again. How's it going? Thanks. How you, how you been? I, I, I'm feeling great right now. I've been good. Well, that's you know, good. I've been. That's good. Here. Here. Uh, in the city. In the city. In the city. Okay, yeah. that's nice. That's and nice. You split your time between you know the glamour of uh, the Big Apple, Hollywood, yeah. and everything, and a farm upstate, right? Yeah. It's yeah. It's um. It's the dream. It's it's how I stay, um, healthy, emotionally, mentally healthy. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So far, this is a photo. This is a this is this is a photo of you on the farm. Yep. Yeah. That's you. Up. That's and I made all the Can animals you come in pose. Get in a little closer. Get a little closer. Do you see? They're all. I made all them all pose, pose like that. Um. I have to say, this looks like a press photo for an A24 horror movie about a witch who has chickens. <laughs> That, I think that was the. I think that was what she was going for. I would watch that. I would watch that yeah, movie. Yeah, it was the best present. Um, Photoshop, of course, mm -hmm. you can't get the chickens to stay in one place. But um, yeah, everybody else was game. What's the hardest thing about farm life? Like, uh, what's the hardest animal? Because you got all kinds of uh, yeah, animals um, up there. Yeah, um, it's a good question. I think the hardest. You know, they're all pretty easy. Um, animals are easy, really. Uh, some somewhat, but I've got this really high maintenance horse, who. Has a lot of like allergies, and he had to see this visiting dermatologist at a at wow. a at a, a place a facility like a half hour away. So we had to bring him for like a an mm. allergy panel, and I just never thought I would be talking about something like that in public or in private. <laughs> Is there any chance he has moderate to severe plaque psoriasis? You know. <laughs> Does he need Zimbalta or whatever that stuff is? Um, uh, uh, yeah. Um, well, we're not sure. We didn't get the the uh, blood work back yet. You almost slipped into a little of the Holmes right there. <laughs> yeah, we, uh, we're not sure. Um... I want to get this one out because we like to do public service here. Just la last image of the farm. What is going on here? That looks like a little... Do, would anybody like to take a guess? What is this? Anyone know what this is? Anyone? Guess what this is? Okay. No, it's a tortoise theme park. <laughs> Okay. And uh, it's a sad story. Uh, oh, good. I actually, it is heartbreaking. Oh, <laughs> um, no. e e e the resident uh, no longer lives uh, in his theme park that was built for him. He died? It might be a she, actually. We got it resexed recently. Um, that's when the, the vet, uh, it's a tortoise, a Russian tortoise, and he walked, she, she walked off. Um, it was a, an accident. So you don't know where I the tortoise truly... is. The tortoise ran away. Uh... How far could it have gotten? <laughs> That's a good question. That's what I thought. And... So this is a PSA right now. If you have seen, <laughs> if you have seen a tortoise in the state of New York, contact Amanda Seyfried, care of the Sullivan yeah, Theater. Thanks, guys. I, Franklin. I... Does Franklin respond to um... the name? I actually am not kidding. He does, and so when I'm walk, I'm always like walking around now like this, saying, "Frankie, come here, Frank, come on, Frank." And then my two-year-old, almost two-year-old, he's like, "Ha ha, ha ha," and it's just, uh, it's like heartbreaking, but it's, it is funny because I imagine he's having a good time because mm -hmm. it's like there's a lot of vegetation and and burrowing uh, opportunities. <laughs> but I'll probably cry turtles. later about Do it. Do turtles burrow? Tortoises. Do tortoises burrow? Um, yeah. Yeah, there's lots of places to burrow in this thing. Oh, I thought lots you were pointing around my desk. There oh, you they would love it. He can oh, be under there. Oh, they would love it back there. Um, yeah, he's got burrow opportunities everywhere. Yeah. yeah. He's fine. <laughs> let's, talk, let's talk about, uh, can we talk about you for a second? I thought that was talking about me. <laughs> We were talking about your animals for a right, while. Right. I want okay, to leave well, the animals me. out of it. Only one <laughs> mammal at a time. What we have 
uh, here is an uh, Emmy nominee. Congratulations yeah. thanks. on See, the thanks, thanks so much. That's I am. Wonderful. wonderful performance as Elizabeth Holmes. You've never met her. For those of you who don't know, uh, she was the uh, founder and leader of Theranos, which yeah. purported to be able to discover a host of diseases with a single drop of blood, and it was all bull. Yeah, yeah. You've never met her, but if, no. you, if you could meet her, what would you want to ask her? Uh, well, I mean, I, a lot of things. I think I'd want to know if she was conscious of when things turned for her, when she made... When, if, if there's one specific choice she made that kind of tilted her off the edge into the abyss that is where Theranos lives mm -hmm. um, now, I would want to ask her that. And I'd also want to know about the baby bird she talks about in her text messages with, with Sunny. I want to know if she had a baby bird or if it was metaphorical. We have to take a little bit of a break, but oh. you stay and you stay, and we'll be right back with more Amanda Seyfried, everybody. <laughs>